The following presentation is presented and shown by the World Veterinarian Organization for Dog Kinematics, Kinematically Controlled Orthopedics, Neurology and Rehabilitation. Founder and Board President Dr. Patrick Latlamonier. In the video you can see Jules Labrador Beach, 13 years old, with a pronounced lameness on the right and the clear pace passage. The hindquarters are very tight and the tail has to balance the movement. The two elbow joints are guided in the varus leg position and the whole movement shows a swinging mechanism runs like Charlie Chaplin. The lameness appears more clearly on the left volute counterclockwise since the right shoulder limb mass is on the way axis and the larger radius than the left shoulder limb mass. On the right volute clockwise the right shoulder limb masses is on the support axis and thus has the greater pressure on the painful osteoarthritis. In the sitting position the right shoulder limb mass is relieved and put forward. This is a clear sign of pain and above all an incorrect and overworked posture. This will be shown in the coming slides. Right elbow in the lateral and AP beam path shows the atrosis clearly see red arrow especially the area on the inside of the fragmented processus coronoid elbow dysplasia. Left elbow same presentation of osteoarthritis and FPC coronoid C red arrow. Both x-rays images of the pause the toe joint atrosis is very prominent. These two x-rays images show the spine pelvic axis in a standing position with the formation in the cord equina region as lumbar vertebrae 7 and S1. The lateral calcification of the spine are very visible. With functional diagnostics, movement measurement, many parameters can be displayed as how to movement behaves. In the diagram you see whom left and right means shoulder limp left and right as well as fem left and right. These are the hind legs female and left and right. In the stance phase the right shoulder limp mass has the shorter stance phase due to the painful and inflamed atrosis, the osteoarthritis. The swinging phase shows the movement in which the limb does not touch the ground. In this means is held in the air. This is significantly larger than in the right shoulder limb mass. This means that the limb is relieved due to the pain and stays in the air particularly twice as long. This is the clinical picture of limping. The stretching and bending of the shoulder limb mass on the right and the left is particularly identical. This is at 80 degrees angle. This is also called the range of motion or fully mobility. The stretch and bend in the hindquarters are unequal, mainly due to the lack and overloaded from the forehand. The forehand is the statics and the hindquarters provide the movement, the thrust or push move. In the back right we have a range of motion of 30 degrees, in the back left 60 degrees. This difference is significant. The different causes of osteoarthritis are positional abnormalities, as example hip dysplasia, misconducted and overloaded disorders of the movement, vitamin and mineral malnutrition, age-related wear, as well as genetics factors. These points will be detailed and discussed in the upcoming ebook by me regarding the puppy workout. Above all, you will receive information on how these diseases and orthopedic findings can be minimized through optimal prophylaxis. It cannot be prevented totally, but above all, 
the deficiency and overloaded as well as the diet can be strongly influenced. In addition to text, the ebook is supplemented by many video sequences and cases from my orthopedic dog practice. Stay tuned.